Day two. It's a little before 6 a.m. getting ready to get up and get things going. It was chilly last night. Upper 30s, probably. All right, time to go. Wore all my clothes. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're heading out. Day two, leaving Molly's Ridge, heading up the Derrick Knob. 12 miles plus. Let me start to watch. Watch it started. Here we go. Well, today is a much nicer day than yesterday. The sun's out. It's not foggy and misty and it's pretty nice. So we got our 12.4 we got to go today to get to the next shelter. And uh, when I get there, it might be colder tonight than it was last night. And if that's going to be the case, I'll probably stay inside the shelter. Because I was comfortable last night, but if it got any colder, I probably wouldn't have been comfortable. So. If we're looking at any colder temperatures, yeah, I'll, I'll move into there. But other than that, hey, we're on our way. We're doing good. Everything's going like it should. Breakfast was great. Had coffee. And uh, we're doing good. Saw the deer today. The young buck. He came up pretty close. So, and he, uh, he would run away and come back and run away and come back. And he was within 30 feet of us. And it didn't seem to care. So, all right, that's today's check-in. Time to move on. Here at the Spence Field Shelter for lunch, have me some chicken creations, uh, chicken salad. I'm enjoying it. Nice little place. I'm the only one here, so I got the place to myself. Just gonna sit down here, relax, drink some uh, some noon, put some electrolytes back inside of me, and uh, get on here in about 10 or 15 minutes. I've uh, been a nice little hike. Had a couple ups and downs. Uh, not too bad. Uh, right from the very beginning, had an up. Uh, stopped at the Russell Field Shelter for a quick break, and uh, like I said, this here at the Spence Field Shelter. Pretty nice little place. Probably sleeps 10 or so. Uh, a little .2 off the trail, which means that's .4 extra I did today. But I uh, had 12 to do, so that'll be an extra .4 on top of that. So other than that, I'm going to eat lunch and then get back on the road. here at the Derrick Knob Shelter. Uh, pretty good. We're at 4,800 feet. Got down to 36 degrees last night, so pretty chilly. So luckily I've got some nice hot chocolate here uh, with mini marshmallows. It was pretty good. Oh, chipmunk. There's a chipmunk over there. So uh, we're going to eat this, have breakfast. Today's a nice short, short day, seven miles up the trail. Probably take a nap when I get there, but uh, good to go. Derrick Knob Shelter. All right, so starting to hike here on 
day three, leaving the shelter. You can see it back there, but there's some tents back there. There's a lot of people there. There are probably 10, 12 people there at the shelter. I actually stayed inside. I decided not to put up the hammock, which is actually a very good idea because as far as you can tell, it got down to probably, eh, I guess I told you about it, 36, 35, 36 degrees. And the hammock I set up, I brought, is not really set for that. The forecast had temperatures in the 40s, and that's kind of what I planned for, but that's okay. So what I think I'll do is when I get to Newfound Gap and get my resupply with Rick, I'll probably swap out and I have a tent there. I'll probably bring the tent and I'll keep the two quilts I have because uh, when I was in the shelter, I put down the two quilts. Well, I put down the, the pad and the two quilts and that was actually pretty warm last night, warmer than the uh, night before. Uh, and it's first night in the shelter. And as I learned, shelters are very noisy, a lot of snores. Um, but I was comfortable. I, I, I couldn't complain. It was, it was actually a pretty, pretty decent experience. Hear the mice scurrying around. They didn't bother me. I actually hung my entire pack up in the uh, hooks there, up in the uh, bear cables. So, worked good. So, we're on our way, and uh, we got a short seven mile day today. And it'll be, I'm just taking my time right now. Starting out really, really slow because yesterday was a freaking booger bear. We had a couple of rough uphills going up the rocky top was rough. Um, and then a couple of the other mountains there, but then we came down. Oh, yeah, it was a long stretch of down that was just tore my toes up. So, hey, that's it. That's all I'm going to ramble on about this morning. And everything is good to go. And we're going to go our little, try, our little seven miles here. We'll probably seven miles. We'll get to the shelter probably a little after lunch. Probably about maybe 12.30 or 1. And then I'm just going to put the hammock up and take a nap. So that's it. And I'll probably stay in that shelter again tonight because it's still supposed to be kind of cool. Hey, checked in. And here we go. Past a couple of hikers, four of them. They came from Clingman's Dome. They're heading to that, uh, that campground. They said they're trying to do 25 miles today. No way. As soon as they hit that big hill, I bet they don't go that far. <laughs> so, yeah, Cades Cove, that's where they're going. I don't know. Also, you know, the forecast had 0% chance of rain, and that's true. Because right now, believe it or not, little bits of hail are falling out of the sky. So there's like one cloud, and it's actually hailing. Great Smoky Mountains. Gotta love it. All right, stop for lunch at the Silos Bend Shelter. It's a nice little shelter. It's a, I guess it's a double decker. Yeah, it is. Um, and of course, enjoying some wonderful spam and some propel. Get those electrolytes back in there. So that's it. So we only got about a little less than two miles to go until the Double Spring Gap Shelter, which I'll spend the afternoon and the evening there. So it'll be a seven mile day, it'll be good. And then tomorrow, we'll be on to Clingman's Dome. All right, and then you get this stuff you gotta climb. It's like, oh my goodness. Oopsie daisy, and oopsie daisy. Yeah, this is pretty steep. You can't see it, but it is. The nice reward is, when you get to the other side, you usually get a nice little view. So, hallelujah. All right, this is the uh, Double Spring Gap Shelter. The first one here. So I get to pick wherever I want. Hallelujah. 